Welcome to the extended practical of thermistor as temperature sensor by Dr. Kulvinder Singh Ma of Department of Physics supported under DBT Star College scheme. We calibrate a thermistor for making it a temperature sensor and verify the Newton's law of cooling. Apparatus required. Thermistor, thermometer, test tube, digital multimeter, beaker, sand, water heater, stop watch, etc. A glass is filled with hot water of temperature about 80 degrees Celsius. A thermistor, connected to a digital multimeter in resistance mode as ohmmeter, a thermometer inserted in a test tube filled with sand and placed in the hot water bath as shown in the figure. Procedure. Insert the thermistor and thermometer in the test tube and partly fill it with sand. Connect the two terminals of the multimeter with the thermistor. Keep the multimeter as ohmmeter. Insert the test tube in a hot water bath using the beaker. During heating the resistance changes rapidly and it is difficult to note it. But, during the cooling keep note the data as follows. Note the readings of the thermometer T in K, X is over the room temperature, and the digital multimeter regarding the resistance R of the thermistor after the same interval of time, T in second. Plot graph between L and R is equal to Y and 1 slash T is equal to X, the straight line graph, y is equal to mx plus c would be obtained. This is calibration curve for the given thermistor. It may be different for different thermistors. Temperature, tying graph verify the Newton's law of cooling. Conclusions. The straight line graph between log, t2, and time, s, verifies the Newton's law of cooling. The straight line graph between log r and 1 slash t indicates that the thermistor can be used as temperature sensor. Thank you.